uh, so today I was just browsing through YouTube and I happened to see this video okay it's by Josh Graham Gambrell okay sorry if I pronounce it wrong so his video was on emissive decals are finally in blender and he was it was an overview of decal machine 2.0 okay which is I heard that it's quite good I don't have it okay but uh, so I watched the video it was quite good so I and I after the video I went to the comments okay, so I happened to see this comment by information gem can we add decals without decal machine okay so I went and Josh had already replied he replied no so I thought it was a little too direct so I said actually I guess you can do that with normal max correct me if I'm wrong then he said that parallax is key here it requires extremely complex nodes at us that I and most other people have no clue what's going on chances of me doing that each time vanil in vanilla successfully are slim to none so what I understand of what he said is that parallax is key so it's difficult to do it though only with the node setup so I wrote I'm currently trying to do it if I get an efficient way with vanilla blender I will surely share it so he just told me to update him in the afterlife so I hope he's not there in the afterlife okay because he won't be around for that long okay so I try to do it and I think that I have done it okay so I I got these decals from him itself he has it in his description the MSL decal pack over here okay so I got from him and I did it so um, it is not exactly like decal machine so what you can do with this is you can move this plane around okay if you move it the decal moves around and you can have multiple of these okay so this is the node setup I'll try to explain it so we have two shaders over here okay so this is for so if I control shift click which makes this the material that's being viewed I will be able to see this so this is the material okay and if I control shift click this it's the other one it's over here and it's, they are just mixed with a the factor which is a mask and that's about it let me explain this node okay so this is the, I call it a decal filter it's a node group so it has your base color I'm just gonna roll click this one only so it has your base color which is your base you can change that it has your decal base color which is the color of your decal it has your emission color which is the color of your emission it has your emission mask which tells blender where it's supposed to emit it has your emission strength so you can get it up and down it has your bump height which is for the bump input it has projector coordinate now this is this you may not understand but i'll explain to you so it's basically this the texture coordinate node which has your projector which I'll explain in a bit your projector your projector is the camera so this is your projector it projects the texture on this okay so the name is camera it's camera so you select that and you go into object coordinates and you put that over there then you have the mask. The mask is to show where the decal should be applied and where it shouldn't. So where it will be the base color and where it will be the decal color. Basically. The object projector input is it's a little confusing but 
is the distance from the object to the projector and this is a driver so if I delete this driver and let's I'll add it for you so add driver this is how you do it you add driver remove remove this thing that is added to it by default so the expression should just be var which is short for variable and this this is the value that will be there in your driver and it's referencing to this var so if I change this to var1 I'll have to change this to var1 okay so let, let's just change it back to var variable okay simple stuff simple simple stuff okay so you have to change this to the distance so now I think you'll be able to understand what what it is now so you select your object which will be the cube and the projector which will be your camera and it didn't work let's see edit driver camera oh okay it allows me to explain the next thing okay so it's the cutoff so the cutoff is it's uh, it's a value to show where the texture cuts off okay because the way that I'm doing it right now is thing was not there it would be like this you would get this thing so it would be behind and it would be at the place that you want so you need the cut off so you can remove it from the back and this is your normal color so it is your normal input your normal image which will be like something like this purple color image or for this thing exactly it is like this which now I realized this aspect ratio is wrong it doesn't look bad though and then you have your AO curve height which is connected to your AO curve height this comes when you bake it with the decal machine so that's why I put it what I think that it does is it gives the like if it's going inside like a vector displacement okay so that's basically it okay, for the node part and then the output you just put the base color in base emission is emission normal and normal mix mask is for the mix shader so if you're putting another decals so the next thing what you do you have to know is the modifiers okay so I had to add modifiers for this the first thing I added is a, a subdivision modifier one thing is because I wanted it to be a sphere so you need a you can either add a UV sphere, ICO sphere and do that but I used a cube and it has also another reason basically what it does is whenever you put for the next modifier is the UV project so whenever you put this modifier it has some distortion in it which is like a bug which is not fixed uh, so what you have to do the workaround is you put a subdivision surface on top of it so it needs more geometry so that's why that's the other reason that you need the subdivision surface that's the most important reason you need it wait I, I think I can show you why you need it so if I disable that I and I this let's just add this for one moment on H and yeah okay this looks like this. So, uh, bah, 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 bah. okay. Okay, I'm not gonna show that to you now. Maybe in the next video I'll show it to you. I'll do a follow up video. So, back. Okay, and this is the. It's of the second decal. Okay, so that's basically it. I, I will attach a link to this note group in the description. But and I'll I'll make another video to show you how to make this if you don't know get it which will be free. Okay, so I think that's basically it. So
so bye bye